So a lot of you guys know that I keep diamondback terrapins. They're my favorite species of turtle and they're also the most beautiful and in my opinion, the most personable and friendly. I have three adult females outside my 4,000 gallon pond that I built for them. And therefore, when I keep them so naturally, they end up producing eggs. In order to encourage their egg laying, we're getting towards the end of April. They should start having eggs any day now. I want to encourage that by giving them what eggs are made of. Well, what the heck are eggs made of? Calcium. So basically I wanna give them an extra calcium boost in order for them to facilitate potential egg making producing babies yes so today we're gonna take over a few options of how I can give calcium to my turtles let's go all right, so our first step of the day is to go to the pet store and see what types of goodies and things that we can find that have calcium for these turtles Hi, puppy. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see if I can find it. Apparently they sell specific cuddle bone for turtles. All right, this is the only one they have and it's that much and that's kind of a lot. So we're gonna go see if I can find some in the bird section. And then if not, I'll figure something out. So watch this, watch this guys. Turtle bone, only turtle. It comes with how many of them? It's a two pack. Wow, what a steal for $7, right? Ready? Watch this, watch this. Go right over here for one more dollar, but marketed for birds, you get one, two, three times as much cuddle bone. That's what it's about. This deals, baby, the deals. Look at that. Hi, buddy. Holy nuts. Look at him go. You're so soft. And a Herman's tortoise. Oh, cool, cool, cool. cool. Yeah, Thank you so much, you too. Okay. Now guys, for our next stop, you'd be surprised what you can find at your local hardware store. This is what I see when I roll up to the house. I'll get them all basking. Oh, someone jumped in. So here we've got our cuddle bone. Let's go ahead, bring this to the turtles and get them munching. Also, this cuddle bone does have some extra ingredients, some powder, flaxseed oil, which is a source of omega-3 fatty acids. I looked up all this stuff and this is all safe for turtles. That thymine is vitamin B, which is good for them. And the flaxseed oil is not a problem. As you can see, I haven't fed the turtles for like two days because I wanted them to get nice and friggin' hungry. So that way they would be more likely to take down whole pieces of cuddle bone. Okay, dragon fruit is getting ahead of herself. Don't bite my toe. So we can see everyone is very hungry. Everyone's very eager. The girls are going crazy. Let's go ahead and give them this cuddle bone. For some reason, I don't think that's been filming, but Bean is totally tearing up. She ate an entire block just on her own. That's how you know that this animal is getting plenty of calcium. Now, in particular, we we'll want to give this to the breeding females, which is Bean, Flipper, and oi, 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 she's right behind me, dragon fruit. <laughs> The little guys can also get bites of it and you know, it won't really be a big deal, but these are the animals in particular that we want to take literal bites of this stuff. Look at her go. Miss Dragon Fruit is a monstrosity. There she goes. Flipper's looking at, hey, what were you eating? The koi's like, hey, what were you eating? Flipper, come here, baby. Look at all the powder and whatnot from this stuff. There she goes. We want her to get a nice bite of the stuff. Wow, she just crushed it. Did you guys see that? She completely just crushed that thing in half. That's the power that these animals have with their jaws. This young lady, this is an ornate right here. I don't think that she's gonna produce this year, but hey, there's no harm in tossing her a little bit of cuddle bone as well. See if she'll eat that. They're all the way down there eating the cuddle bone. Miss Dragon Fruit, here you are. Man, come on, get it, baby. Bean is very interested. Look at this, look at this. They're just going crazy, taking nice huge chunks of this stuff. It's like chalk. Bean doesn't care, she wants to eat it. That is my girl. She was born and raised in ponds nearly her entire life. She's got an absolutely massive head. She's probably one of the most naturalistic terrapins I have. Look at these girls, they don't care. They will take this stuff down. They don't care if it's a rock. They will chew it and try to eat it. Miss Bean, that is plenty of calcium for you, ma'am. That's incredible, look at her go. Look at the size of that head. These guys are used to eating animals like that in the wild. They're used to eating crustaceans. They're used to eating gastropods, mollusks, snails. Do you think that a little bit of cuddle bone is gonna stop them from completely decimating these things? No, this is nothing compared to those shells. Come on, girl. There you go, there you go. I know it's like chalk, but this stuff, actually sometimes the terrapins, you can see they enjoy eating it, like Miss Bean here loves it. The other two are not huge fans, but they are chewing on it, they are eating it. That's the main point. Yeah, they don't love it, but yes, they will eat it, and yes, it will totally help 
increase their calcium levels and hopefully lead to egg production. These other two pieces of cuttlebone sank to the bottom of the pond, so we're hoping that later on, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a week from now, if nobody eats that, they'll come along and they'll just graze on it. As they get hungrier and hungrier, they will get hung- I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna feed them for a week. However, if they get hungry, I like to give them the option to choose when to eat as they would naturally. What these guys will do, they essentially graze in the wild, but they graze on protein-filled food sources. So they graze on these snails, on these mollusks. They'll come around, they'll sift through the sand and eat these bivalves and things. See, now dragon fruit's getting into it, yuh. She is going for that freaking cuddle bone. She is loving it. See, this is what we wanted to see. She knows that she's not getting anything else. So as we can see down low, on that side as well, these animals are finally eating the nuts out of this stuff. I apologize for the clarity of the water. It's not too crystal clear right now, but as the season goes on, as the plants grow in, whoa, 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 <laughs> here come Dumb and Dumber down the pond. And they're also looking at what the big deal is. They're also gonna look for that cuddle bone and hopefully eat some. But you can see the big girls that I want to eat this stuff are down there just tearing it up. Ms. Bean, it's just cuddle bone today for you, lovely. So if you wanna eat, you best go back down there, love. Go ahead. That's her baby right there. That not that insane? That's Bean's baby right here. This is Blondie. <laughs> Can you tell why I call her that? She's very skittish. I try not to pick her up too much. Here's Miss Flipper. Miss Flipper, come eat the rest. Graze, graze, graze my baby. Two of Bean's babies, that's Blueberry. Waffles down there are going nuts on their own. Bean is going to bite me. These are incredibly curious animals. And so they will take a test bite of just about anything, including people, if you give them the chance. Some animals are way more friendly than others. This can benefit more than just adult female terrapins who are going to produce eggs or hopefully produce eggs. We can give it to the juvies. We can even give it to our box turtle here. Now, if they won't eat that, we've got another trick up our sleeves here. Right here, we've got 40 crickets. Normally you're gonna wanna dust these guys with some calcium powder because I just fed them friggin' cuddle bone. I'm not too worried about it. All right, folks, here we go. Hey, butternut, look at that, look at that. He just got a look at one of them. He sees the other one, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Come on, buddy. You're gonna go for the one that's not actually getting away in the middle and bam. There he goes. That is one happy box turtle there. The exoskeletons of these crickets are what make them rich in calcium. Also, you can gut load them with foods. If you feed these crickets foods that you want your turtles to eat, bam, there you go, butternut. You can secondhand basically give them the nutrition. Here he goes for the last one. Go ahead. Oh, being gentle there and not so gentle. Guys, look. What did I say about the calcium? Literally the box turtle, one of my pickiest animals, is eating the freaking cuddle bone. That is pretty awesome. Look at that, we've got our first cricket in and first cricket out. Come here guys. All right guys, come on, start eating. Go ahead, get it. There you go, Waffle. Nice, nice, nice. Now when one terrapin gets it, the other's interested, guys. These are communal creatures that pick up on each other's eating habits. If one is eating something, the other will then, just out of habit, it will want it. Bean just took one down there. She knows the drill. She's gonna go ahead, she's gonna see that one. Ooh, she's got it. There she goes, a girl. Look, 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 Urkel's got one in his mouth. Urkel's got one in his mouth. We're gonna take this one, uh, something Lion King reference. Boop, back in the water. There goes Mochi's got it, Mochi's got it. That is a very smart turtle that I have right there. That's it, guys, crickets are done. So folks, those are some well-diversified food options that you can give to your animals to make sure that they're getting the calcium they need. We can give them literal cuddle bone, we can give them crickets dusted with calcium, we can give them bone in fish, which I wasn't able to find today. Just like those crickets had exoskeletons, bait shrimp also have exoskeletons. I would feed that to my terrapins, but they go a little bit too crazy for shrimp. So we're not going to do that today. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.